Back on Inside Tennessee with two candidates for at-large A City Council seat. Again, this is to replace George Wallace. Lynn Fugit is here. Charles Lomax Jr. is here. John North. Folks, let's talk about the city budget as it has been executed in the past. I'm curious if there's one aspect of that budget that you have disagreed with or that you would de-emphasize when you got on council. Anything that you're like, no, I think too much money has gone to that. I would cut that back. Hmm. Uh, Lynn, we can start with you. Well, of course. Um, <laughs> uh, I can't fully answer that. I mean, I am not an expert in what the mayor has spent and the city council has spent their money on in the last eight years. I do know that I agree with some strategic redevelopment um, investment in certain parts of town. I do think when you combine city resources in a certain section of town like she's done in South Knoxville and city council's done in South Knoxville, that's when you get your biggest impact. So I don't know that it's so much not doing what we've been doing, but do we look at channeling those resources to another part of the city so that all those resources are put to bear? Charles. Um, I definitely agree that we have to channel resources throughout the city because too often certain areas of the city get more attention than others. Um, I don't know if uh, there's anything that I would take away that I feel is getting too much attention. Um, I could be completely wrong on this, but I want to say that our budget is actually down 7% um, yes. or so from mm -hmm. last year's budget. And so we're already reducing the budget. I don't know if there's anything that I feel receives too much attention. One thing that's getting a lot of attention is Recode Knoxville. How do you both feel on that? Do you, are you supportive of how it stands now? And would you be in favor of this council voting to finish that? Or would you want them to wait and wait till you get on board? That question to both of you. Charles, go <laughs> An go easy ahead. one. <laughs> yeah, well, Charles has a little experience with Recode. So. I do. I'm, yeah. I'm actually yeah. in the unique position of being the only individual running for city council at the moment that has experience with Recode. Um, my last meeting on the commission was on uh, uh, in January, and that was when we voted to send it to city council. Um, I stand by that vote to send it to city, to city council because I believe that it needed to be in the hands of a legislative body and a body duly elected by the, the, the representatives or the, the citizens of Knoxville. But as it stands right now, I think that it still needs a little bit of work and some tweaking. Um, I would not be opposed if it was slowed down a little bit. Um, I'm ready come day one to jump on it if, it, when, not if, but when elected. Okay. So. Uh, we don't disagree on a whole lot. So, I mean, <laughs> what, what, what I would say is I think that there's not a problem so much with the recode that I'm hearing about as much as the process of how recode was occurred. A lot of folks feel like, even though there have been lots of public meetings because this is the way communities work. This is the way Knoxville works. Yes, <laughs> no, Knoxville this is works. my ghost of 15. Yeah. Yes. But These go 15 <laughs> ghosts pop out at the end and say, we never knew about it, and the community did a great job advertising Well, us. and what I would say is, I mean, I, I fully sympathize with that. We felt that with Nine Counties One Vision. Back when mm -hmm. I ran Nine Counties One Vision, you have tons of public meetings, but people are busy. They're, they're, li they're living their lives, and all of a sudden something's about to get voted on, and people don't feel fully informed. I agree that there are parts that need to be tweaked. Um, I really like the part about mixed use along the corridors around Broadway, Magnolia, and Chapman Highway. I think that's a jump start. I do think that there are, that neighborhoods can be different. Different neighborhoods have different flavors. And one of the things that I'm hearing people be concerned about is that it's a little, they don't feel like their uniqueness can survive recode as it is currently. Charles, do you agree that recode uh, stripped away some uniqueness from the current plan or added some uniqueness and allowed for some additional categories? I think both and, honestly. Um, okay. Again, going back to what Lynn said, every community is different, every neighborhood is different, and I think that with that, you know, each has their own respective essence and feel and flavor to it. And so uh, the beauty about Recode is the fact that we are updating the current zoning ordinance that we have, which is in need of updating. Absolutely. It's approximately 50 or 60 years old. Mm -hmm. And we've you know, put patches here and Band-Aids there, but you can only uh, tinker with an engine so long before you just need an overhaul. And so I think that's where we are with Recode. We're going to end the conversation there because we will definitely have both of you back before the November contest because this uh, August primary is really a, a practice, if you will, for what happens <laughs> in November. You'll both be on both ballots. So right. we appreciate the start of the conversation and we look forward to seeing you again before November.
Thank Great. you very Thank much. Thank you. Absolutely. Nice to be here. Coming back, we'll discuss some of the political happenings throughout the week, and it's been a busy one.